Uh, hello and welcome to another Pauper League. So this week I decided to mix things up a little because all I play is mid-range and combo decks. I wanted to play an aggro deck for a change. So pretty much the only aggro deck you can play these days is <laughs> Mono Red. So I went looking around to try to find something a little different uh, and I found this deck that is doable because of a couple of one cards. So this is, uh, I call it Black Beetle because of Mortician Beetle, but it's pretty much just mono black sack aggro. It's existed in a couple of different forms throughout the years, uh, mainly because, or ever since Mortician Beetle got downshifted in one of the uh, master sets. So this deck list I found from uh, Alexander Weber. Uh, I'm gonna forget what nationality is from, Brazilian, Italian. I'll go Italian. Uh, he, I'll link his, I think he did a video on it. I haven't actually watched it. I found his deck list, so I, I'll link that below. Uh, so he built this deck based on um, a couple of proliferate cards that were in one. So Whisper of the Dross and Blightbelly Rat. Uh, so because the main point of the this deck is to play Carrion Feeder and Mortician Beetle as your one drops, and then just have sort of uh, mediocre cards that you're willing to like give you some sort of value, like Shambling Ghast, which gives an egg one, egg one, or gets your treasure, or um, uh, Dust Legion Zealot, which draws you a card. So you like eat away these creatures, you let these grow, and because they grow with 1-1 one, one counters, you can proliferate the counters with Whisper of the Dross and also Blight Belly Rat. Blight Belly Rat's pretty cool because if everything's already got a counter, then like it'll get an extra one. Well, it proliferates first before the counters go on like the Carrion Feeder, so it needs to have one on it already. But like it, it'll give you two counters instead of one, which seems pretty cool. So yeah, uh, his version ran 18 lands. I decided to count it down to 17 because there's literally only ones and two drops. Uh, <laughs> this is a zero drop and this is a one drop, so my point still stands. Uh, so talked about them. Uh, so there is another Mortician Beetle that got printed recently, which is a Gixian Infiltrator, which is just which is actually better because it gets counters off all the uh, treasure tokens that you make either off Shambling Ghast or Daily Dispute. Uh, so. And what else do we have? So we got our two ways of drawing cards and more sacrifice house lips, which are village rights and daily dispute. So they're what make the deck tick. They will help you flow through your deck. So if something's getting blocked or getting removed, you just sack it to the village rights or the daily dispute, draw some cards, maybe your magician beetle or Gixian infiltrator gains gain a couple of counters. Uh, also running Iron Apprentice, uh, which I think is pretty cool because it works well with the proliferate, it's already got a counter on it, and then when it dies, it puts the counters on something else. So, like, it's sort of like Black Belly Rat in that, like, if Carrion Feeder eats it, it gets a counter, then it gets another counter, so it gets two out of it. I think that's pretty cool, but it works really well with proliferate because it gets a counter, and then whatever dies also gets a, the two counters then. So, yeah, a decent sack fodder. Uh, we're running, I should probably mention this, we're running two Vault of Whispers just so we have some extra sack outlets for Daily Dispute. Uh, removal, we're just running three Snuff Out. Uh, that's all we really need. We've got more in the sideboard if we need it. Uh, the goal is, is that our creatures are hopefully going to be bigger at some point, that they'll just keep just yeah blocking that we don't actually need removal. Our creatures are going to be better than theirs. Uh, also, we're running two Unexpected Fangs just to help win races, and because the red deck's everywhere, we need some sort of life gain source. Uh, so that's everything in the main deck. Oh, I missed out. Bone Picker. Uh, so Bone Picker is um, a... It's it's an extra one drop, so if you've sacked something to the Carrion Feeder, then, or anything, you just get an extra one drop. There's some times where you just like want to sack a carrion feeder to itself just so you can get a bone picker out on turn one and two. Uh, yeah, and it's it's pretty good against a lot of things just because it has death touch so it can block pretty well and it's a delver, it's a 3 2 flyer, it's a good clock. Uh, sideboard, we got combo hate, uh, more things against the red deck, so unexpected fangs and silver lifestaff. Uh, 
more Tron heat and um, Terra helps slow them down. And then just a pile of removal. So we either got things that for things that go wide, uh, walls and whatnot, walls and blitz, uh, a couple of sacrifice things for hexproof, and yeah, and that's everything. So we'll see how it goes. I <laughs> whatever I've I've run this deck a couple of times and it's never really done too well. So, but I'm keen to give something else a shot and we'll see how it goes. All right, round one versus Mirage Charged. Yes, I would like to go first. <laughs> no, I would not like to keep this. Uh, well, we'll s see how we go. It's not really much going for this hand, but if we get one sort of sacrifice outlet, then we might be all right. Start with a beetle. They're running sixty two cards. I'm so confused. Okay, well, we got the land. Uh, let's just play a couple more. One drops. And then I might play a two drop next turn. Probably the Dust Legion Zealot. Ooh. That could present a problem. Snuff out. One time. Carry and feeder. Okay. All right. Well, we'll play the carry and feeder. Uh, so let's attack with everything. Maybe I keep one mortician beetle back. I don't think I'm going to. Well, let's try and math this out. So. We can attack with everything. We can attack with all these. I can sack like these two. So they'll get two counters plus this extra one. So that's three. So four and three, which is seven, which is nowhere near. So I think I just do two. And then I can like, if they don't have trample, I can chump sack, get a pile more things. Or if I need to, I can like block with something that has more toughness. So in that case, the Infiltrator would have been better than the Zealot, because then I would have had more more power to push through next turn. That's fine. So we were not dead, which is a plus. I'm definitely going to tag with the Carrying Feeder, because it can't block. So I can like sack these two, so I attack with three three threes. I think I just attack with these two. And I'm going to sack the Apprentice, put it on the Attacking Mortician Beetle. Always healed, always yes. And always yes. It always yields a this one. Okay, 
You have to keep a card in hand to make them think I've got something. That's fine. It's a crash through that concerns me. Still do this. I do not know what they've got, but I'm still scared. On that one. It doesn't give it trample, does it? It does. Okay. They don't have enough life to... Well, there's no point saving one damage, so I'll eat that. And maybe I shouldn't have blocked. I cannot kill them if I attack with everything, so I will just attack with two. Keep the bigger one back. Just got to keep their life total low so they can't uh, immolating soul eater. Check with both. All right, well, let's put this on the Soul Eater, because it is the scariest one. Sure. And then if they Battle Rage it, I lose. Sure. Never seen that card in my life. And a blocker, but it doesn't matter, I've got exactly enough on board to kill them. What is this card? Interesting, okay. I mean... It is it better or worse than mutagenic growth? I don't know. All right, well, bring it in snuff out. I come in pile view because I did a draft in between things. <laughs> and it's easier just to see things. Okay, so just removal, removal. I don't think we need to gain life. Just need a pile of removal. And I guess that'll do. It's a removal for the um So how much removal we got now? So they can kill the Soul Leaders and the Who is it? Oh the Hoplites if they don't have anything in hand. Snuff out's the best we got against them. Verdict's fine if they only got one. Same with Fleshbag Marauder. And that's good enough. So we'll just take out... We'll keep the card draw, so we'll just take out one of the creatures that gets bigger. The one drops better. And we'll see how we go. I don't understand what's with the 68 cards, though. Well, i got a snuff out, so I'll keep this. I mean, we were lucky to draw a land there.
Man, we've got beetles, beetles everywhere. I like playing this version because it's a rare. <laughs> Makes it feel like it's powerful. Soul Eater. Didn't attack. That's nice. So, I think we play Ghast and Mortician Beetle. And then I've still got Snuff Out up if I need it. I mean, Triple Mortician Beetle is good if I've got a Sacrifice Outlet. If only I could draw one. Expedite. Sure. I wonder if this is like a offshoot of Jordan Escu deck. Just run all the haste enablers and die out of nowhere. Why not give that one haste? Did not attack. Okay. Alright, well, let's draw a card. Double snuff out's pretty good. Okay. I would like to be able uh, to get a sack outlet, please. I can't really attack in either, because they'll just block with the Shambling Gas to kill their Soul Eater. Which just seems sad. Oh, we going for it this turn? Alright, I'm game enough to try and kill the Soul Eater. Oh, okay, that's fair. Daily Dispute? You know, I'm running 16 lands. I didn't think I'd be drawing this many. Not that I'm arguing. I liked that I drew the second land after keeping one land the last game. But still. It's all just a math game on their side. They just got to figure out if they can actually win. Which it looks like they think they can. I don't think they realize I've got double removal spell because I didn't play any game one. All right. That's 10 power. They're going to Salt Strobe it. And then... Uh, double Strike. Oh, yeah, Salt Strobe is Double Strike. And then Built to Smash, or whatever it is. Plus 3, plus 3, Trample. Yep. Alright, so now I need to block with 2. So now they have to do something to kill me. Like that. So I will just do this. And that will pretty much be GG.
Easy. Just like that. So, uh, we'll call this game a wash. <laughs> we got there off a bit of luck of them having terrible hands and also having a 68 card deck, but uh, we take the wins where we can get them. All right, we'll see how we go in next round. All right, round two versus Henrique-san. Yes, I would like to go first. This is... We've got actual, like, sack outlets. Don't have anything to sack. So this is the sort of ramp issue where you've got the ramp but nothing to ramp food to. This one, we've got the sack outlets but nothing to sack. We'll keep it anyway. I'm going to always sack the carrion feeder. Unsure what to actually start off with. Feel the mortician beetle because I can actually block with it. Swifty, okay. Didn't even swing. Don't know if that was a mis mistake or what. So... Because they'll shambling ghast and carrion feeder. And if they try to kill anything, I can just sack it. By all accounts, I could attack with the mortician beetle. Which I will. So if they block, I'm going to... Uh, so I'm still going to sack this. Create a treasure. I'm just going to... I'm trying to get... Uh, I'm going to be the red deck, and I'm going to try to dump a lot of creatures in play early. So now I can play the Bone Picker. And then I can try and attack in if they kill anything, sack it with the Deadly Dispute. Just so they don't have like two lightning bolts. And leave me with just a carry and feeder because that's going to be very sad. Well, it's not expecting a blue. Uh, so we will sack the Bone Picker. I had to remove all my auto yields because I think I F6'd. So I, <laughs> I wasn't going to be able to sacrifice it. I'll hit me for two. Because I don't think they're going to block either of my three threes. Oh, they might. Okay. That was one of the better options, but I think I'm still going to just attack and I think hold up Deadly Dispute. If they try to kill one of my... If they kill my Carrion Feeder, I can at least sack it to the Deadly Dispute. If they try and kill the Mortician Beetle, I'll just sack it to the Carrion Feeder. Delver. Have not seen a Delver in years. Man, what is with these Kiln Fiends today? <laughs> Might as well get some value now. Village rights is good. Play a land. Play carrion feeder. I'm gonna sack the carrion feeder. And we'll play a shambling ghast. And then we will attack. And if they've got the combo with Kiln Fiend, then 
so be it. I think I'm also going to sack this now to kill the Delver. Alright, here's to hoping I don't die. I've only got two ca two cards in hand. How bad could this be? Okay, that's fine. No attacks, in case I have a removal spell. Nice. Infiltrator. Might as well play the land. We'll attack with these two. So they've got an Izzet charm on top of their library. No spell? On the carrion feeder. I think I'm happy enough for it to die. Because it'll trade with the Bloodwater Entity. Now I've still got two lethal threats in play. So they'll most probably have to Is it Charm the Infiltrator, which then I can sacrifice it to the Village Rites. Then they have to block the Mortician Beetle, and then they're pretty much dead. Excellent, okay. So, bring back in the snuff outs. Bring back in the edicts. This time, I, oh, yeah, edicts. Take out the life gain. Oh, they've got Delva. Maybe we want some life gain. I think I'll keep one in. Because they've got burn this time. Uh, I don't think this is great. It only kills Delver. In which we've got a pile of other things to kill, so... That's fair. I could bring Duress. Try to stop counter spells. I just take out a rat. The rat doesn't do too much. It's just like two sacks. That's that's all it really is. Maybe an iron apprentice. It's sort of the same as Blight Belly. It doesn't just go wide. I think I like the one mana ones better. I think I might just get rid of another rat. I'd prefer to draw cards. So we'll go with this. And we'll see how we go. This is good. These are good cards. Against this kind of deck. Delva? Alright, well, I hope they don't flip it. Because I'm gonna shambling ghast it next turn. Dang. Oh, I 
I think I've got to try to snuff it out now. If they've got Dispel or something, then... Whatever, but I'm better off paying full life than taking three and then paying four later. So now, we will just play a Dusk Legion Zealot. Ooh, and I have the sack, the, the outlet, and the payoff. The infiltrate is pretty good with Shambling Ghast. Into T. I'm thinking we just get rid of it now. And then we hit him for two. And then I can do some sort of funky things next turn. It's like, play the Infiltrator, sack this to the Carrion Feeder, get a treasure. Oh, excellent. I like being able to not be blocked. Get a treasure. Then I have two mana, so then I can use the Deadly Dispute on this land. And then get another treasure. Hmm. Well, I can't stop that. So, that's fine. So that stops that plan. Okay, we'll play this one, and then I've got village rights up if they point removal at anything. Just need to keep the pressure on. So I don't want to just like sacrifice something to deadly dispute because I'm not putting any. I'm taking power off the table then. Alright, so we sack. We'll sack the Shambling Ghast. Because that'll give me a treasure. And the Zealot can die. That's fine. Right, I'm going to sack the Sign Apprentice now. We'll see if my poor Infiltrator gets wrecked. Sweet. Okay, and then we'll attack in, then I'll play Bone Picker Iron Apprentice. I did that wrong. I should have just played it straight away because the Treasure Tokens will buff the Infiltrator. Whoops. This is what happens when I just don't, like, think about the plays. Like, I'm aware of them. I just... I don't sit there and think of the most optimal line before I go and do things. All right. And then we'll see what happens. So I could have, I could have gotten an extra two damage in there. And there it goes. All right, so that's two Kiln Fiend decks down. Uh, having snuff out main deck is good against Kiln Fiend. Who would have thought? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what else we verse in this Wild West League. Uh, yeah, in round three. Okay. Alright, round one, uh, round three versus Fonda Paranoi.
Haranu. Uh, we cannot keep this. Uh, we can keep this. It's a little awkward. But it seems fine. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Just because snuff out's probably better. Unless we're playing against red. In which... That card did nothing anyway. Terra. I don't have to worry about snuff outs. <laughs> I was wondering what they had. I'm like, Force Spike? Play the Infiltrator attack. They kept the land. They kept a card on top. I'm hoping they don't kill my infiltrator. That's fine. That is also fine. And then they play the... Oh, Gurmag, okay. Can't snuff that one out. Hmm. Alright, we'll just play the Iron Apprentice. Oh, actually, we need to... We need to make our mana good, so... We need to use our mana properly, is probably what I needed to say. And then I'm going to take five. And then I'm going to play the Iron Apprentice. And then we'll attack in... Uh, I will sack the Iron Apprentice. I'll put a counter on one of the Infiltrators. They take a decent amount. I will play this Bone Picker. Expected to get counter spelled. Okay. I am unsure what they're doing then. See, most people don't even realize Bone Picker has Death Touch, which is pretty good. Okay, so they had nothing. That's nice. So, Snuff Out's interesting in that it kills half the deck, but not the other. Uh, these Whisper of the Drosses are not good. Because they do not attempt to kill anything. So we bring in the Sack Outlets. And, I don't... So I think I take out one snuff out. Because then I've got two to deal with the terrors if this if I see them. Fangs I'm unsure of. I really want to kill their creatures rather than try to race them. It's not like we're playing against red, so I'll, I'll cut that down to one. Spell bombs I'll bring in because that does slow them down. So maybe I take the I don't need the fangs if I'm slowing them down. And I'll take out a rat. Just keep my curve low. Duress I can sort of see, but I think these do enough. You'd right, you got to deal with their creatures. Whatever they got in hand doesn't really matter if they're beaten down with 5-5s, five five, so. Try this out. One lander. They have mulliganed. Can I get away with carrion feeder plus iron apprentice? If this was a um, shambling ghast, I'd probably keep it because at least then I can cast a two drop that'll help me draw a card. 
And double deadly speed is pretty cool. But it's not really that great if you don't have the lands to actually cast them. Well, they have mulligan once. I can have a mulligan. Okay, this is better. So I'll put back a land. And then I can do... Uh, Mortician Beetle into Infiltrator into we'll see what happens from there. Could I could like carry and feed a Oh they milled an island. They don't want an island. Unless we're trying to find a black source, maybe. There we go. Okay. So I could just like play carry and feed a sack it to itself to be able to play a bone picker and attack for two. I mean that's pretty aggressive because then how much so then I've got five power on the board if all I'm doing and I've already hit for two. And then I've got these two things as backup. Otherwise, I can play this and then double carry and feeder, sack something if it gets blocked. Hmm. <laughs> It just seems a waste not to get a counter on this Infiltrator. I'll just play the Infiltrator. Attack for one. Ah oh, yes, I didn't think about that. Well, now, now that makes my... I really should have done it the other way. Oh, well, we'll see if we can get out of this. We may be able to. Okay, Meg, okay. And Karen Vita. No, no, I'll just pass. I can't really get through the Gurmag at this point. If he attacks in, then that's great. I feel so silly. I completely forgot about suffocating fumes. At least I've got insurance this time. Okay. I think I just take it. I'm going to give lifelink. Okay. That's annoying. That's pretty good. 
But what's the likelihood that's going to resolve? Well, I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? Yeah. Alright, well, let's attack with everything. Except for this. I'll keep it back to block. Block. We sack. Put on this one. Don't fumes me again, please. Okay. Sure. Should have probably sacrificed it to the carrion feeder. Whoops. I'm doing well today. I'm doing well. I've pretty much run out of gas. I don't think I can win anymore. Well, if I hit another uh, sack spell, I'm in with a chance. Alright, well, let's, 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 let's attack first. hope they don't have spell pierce. <laughs> they have spell pierce, and that's just really unfortunate. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's just let's just cast it now. There is a terror and another terror. Oh, that's very sad. That's pretty cool. Okay, so if a creature died this turn, so I can pay for life, kill this. Go do do. Yes. And then play the Bone Picker. And I will trade with it. They're running low on threats. That's cool. We'll play this just in case they have spell pierce. We'll see if they have a counter spell. They do. Nothing I can do about it. We'll pass. I'll keep the bone picker up. Digging deep. What they hit with the thought scale. Mental note consider. Feeling there's a Gurmag angler in my future. Oh, well, I'll trade. Yep. Yep, okay. I'm out of gas. Alright, uh, just one, um, one instance where all I had to do was play around suffocating fumes. Didn't even think of it at the time. But if I played around it, I could have got there. Well, they would have had a harder time anyway. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how, th I mean, they hit three, I'm, I'm, I think two is the right, right amount of snuff out. 
I don't think I want to be holding them when they're beating me down with Gurmag Anglers. That just feels sad. So we'll stick with this. And learn to play around Suffocating Fumes. Yes, it would like to go first. This is fine. So we got a way to slow him down. A couple of things to keep the deck moving. That's a good card. Okay. I think I've got to try to play the Infiltrator. It just presents too much damage for it to not get played. Well, they didn't have the counter spell anyway, so they're just going to consider and then possibly oh, Okay. Mental note is fine. Oh no, now they can play a Terra. Damn. Oh well. I probably should have sacked it beforehand, but... Oh well. Doesn't matter, they're struggling on the land, so that's a plus. Play another Zealot. And I'll play Carrion Feeder and I'll keep up Village Rights. And I'll just pass. They only run tapped black sources, so I don't have to worry about um, fumes at this point in time. They're going to go to discard, so I'm not even going to use my mana. Alright, I'm going to sack this one. Because we don't need two. Rat. And then... I can get that past five. So I will attack with all of these. And then we sack... Do we sack it to the Zealot, or do we sack it to the Village Rides? I'll sack it to the Feeder. So we still maintain power on board. Oh no, they can snuff me out. Are they going to deepen analysis? They are. Interesting. Can I kill them with the Infiltrator? If they don't block it. Let's say they block the Carrion Feeder. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can, okay. All right, we'll see if that happens.
my spell bomb, which makes it even easier. So now they have to block the infiltrator. Yep. So I just sack this. Just so it's big enough to not die. Trade with the terror. Well, kill the terror. And then pass. And then I can sack things if they decide to kill my creatures. GG. GG. All right. I wasn't expecting to be 3-0. I feel like we have drawn very well, and I've played not very great. But we're playing against decks that uh, rely too much on one to two creatures, and removal can stop them. So uh, they had a bit of a bad run there. I still feel like even in game two where we lost, it's only because I made like one poor decision. And if I didn't do that, then we would have possibly smashed him. Anyway, on to the next one. All right, round four versus Felipe Banshee. Uh, we have two lands. We have things we can do on one and two, so we will keep. Everybody's mulliganing today. Oh, this one's even worse. Well, they're not mulliganing to four, so that's a plus. Oh, and they're on the play? Ugh. That's rough. What are they on? A white deck with the fair basilica. Man, we really are the Wild West today. <laughs> <laughs> and Kabira Crossroads. Okay, so this is probably a white weenie deck. They're just using the... Yeah, okay. They're using the basilica to... Just get some value after they... It's it's probably better than a cyclic land in that deck, to be honest. So... We really want to do this on that when we've got this in play. So... I think I just want to play the 2-2. Two, two. And... I will not attack. Because I do not want to sack my creature yet. They may let it through, but I'm not game enough. Doggy. Everyone likes a good doggy. Did not hit land. So let's play Iron Apprentice. Now I can attack with both. Yeah, and then we whisper this one, proliferate here. I guess it didn't really matter. I probably could have sacked it first and then proliferated, but... And then we will sack this. I could put more on the... Yeah, we'll get more damage through. And then I will... Keep up Village Rice? Now I'll play Karen Feeder. Just put more pressure on the table. More life gain. If they've got nothing else, they can at least play the veteran at the back. Okay. So what are they going to target? The Blight Belly Rat? Yeah. So we will sacrifice it to this one. 
to diversify our threats. Put a counter on that one. A little sad that we couldn't proliferate both, but that's just how the stack works. Let's draw a card. Get another piece of sack fodder out there. That's pretty good. I won't sacrifice anything yet. I'll figure out what I want to do with the village rights. I'm unsure if I want to use it on... Ooh. Oh, they can bring back the journey. Nice. I still think I'm going to... Do I snuff it out? I can figure that out later. Yeah, why not? Another carrion feeder. We'll attack. Take it. Uh, I don't think I need any more carrion feeders, so I'll just get rid of this one. Cool. And then I can figure out if I want to deadly dispute the one that's going to get journeyed or just sack it to a carrion feeder. Now we'll sack that one. Cool, I'll take one. That's good. We'll attack with the team. Uh, that'll do. I don't need unexpected fangs yet. Battle screech time. Oh, bring back the journey. <laughs> uh that's getting a little painful. Alright, on the carrion feeder, I'd assume. Yep, so I will just sack that to the deadly dispute. Mortician beetle gets bigger. Now I'm running low on gas. Alright, well, attack with the mortician beetle. Just give it some fangs. Dog. I've drawn more cards than this, that's a plus. They haven't brought back this Lunark veteran yet. I'll take two. I'm gaining life anyway. Oh, yeah, sure. Plane Infiltrator, that's good. Now we attack with just the Mortician Beetle. Um, yeah, I'll keep the Village Rights in case they get another journey. Oh, 
wonder how much life we've gained this game. Oh, there's all four Lunok veterans. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I can't really attack in now, can I? Attack with this. I can sack this and give it... But I don't know if that's worth... So I can, so I can get like up to four. Which won't trade with enough for it to be worth it. I think I'm better off just letting it grow. If they get a battle screech, it's going to be real annoying. Oh, come on. Really? Like the fourth journey to nowhere? So I kept the village rights in hand. Well, may as well block this. Uh. And this is why I run suffocating fumes main, I guess. Every time they play the creature, they gain three life. And they'll get to another journey to nowhere soon. That'll make it even harder. Get rid of this thing. I'm at a I'm at a sacrificey things. I just want like one more sacrificey thing, then I'll be game enough to attack with the Gix the infiltrator to fangs it. I just feel like they're going to throw everything under it. And they just bring it all back. Can't beat four Lunark veterans, apparently. Yeah, I'm, I've had enough. Too many lands by the end there. So, we need these things. And I think that's all I really want. The smot removal's pretty bad. This bird the dross was pretty cool. So I think I just need to bring in fumes. And then hope for the best. I could probably bring in... I could probably just take out the other snuff out and bring in a fangs. Yeah, 
Yeah, and I think that will be good. If they manage to give all the creatures toughness, then whatever. I don't know what I can do about that. This is fine. No real aggressive start, but a lot of things I can cast. That's annoying. Uh... I'll play the Infiltrator. Unsure if Mortician Beetle. I don't think I'm going to hold up either of these one-shot things. I'm better off casting the Infiltrator and then next turn do a Beetle and holding up stuff. Okay. Just keep taking it. Okay, they must have Battle Screech. Alright, we'll get in there for one. Need a sack outlet. Yep, that's going to be hard to get through if I can't find a... Uh, suffocating fumes. Uh, what is all these notifications? There we go. That should stop. Uh... Yeah, it works. I think I just want to sack that. I've got enough sack outlets in hand. Just need to be able to actually start punching some damage in. Oh, still didn't get any lands. Oh, I cannot attack yet. Hopefully I don't have the plus two, plus two. The fact they're attacking with everything means they probably do. I'm not going to block. If they've got it, they got it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. They're stuck on lands. And they... Well, I mean, I can still have a chance if I rip a land and a fumes <laughs> at once, which I won't be able to. Uh, I really got nothing. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna play the Iron Apprentice. I'll play a Deadly Dispute. Sack this. I'll just do as much damage as I can just to see how how the deck can work. 
But they're probably holding up um, Celestial Flare anyway. <laughs> and then I'll attack. I think I just needed a third land a little bit earlier and I might have stood a chance. The fact that they just, like, removal, removal got me a little too well. I'm like, that was a good hit. I hit him for 11. That's all I can do. So, GG. Just couldn't handle the Guardian's Pledge. Couldn't handle four... They didn't even play one um, Lunark Aspirant that game, but... Lunark... I think it's Lunark Aspirant. Oh, well. Alright, well, let's see if we can get a 4-1. <laughs> this has been a really weird league. All right, last round versus Make It Right. Uh, we have a one drop and some two drops. I will keep this. And some card draw. And lo and behold, the red deck. Um, I'll play the beetle. Called Dotha already. And an Epicure. So... What's the best move here? I guess the Zealot? And then I can take it all, and then next turn, play Infiltrator and Carrion Feeder. Oh, well, that was a good end to the game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll bring in Unexpected Fang. We'll take out the Snuff Outs. We'll bring in Fumes. We will bring in Life Staff. And we will take out Carrion Feeder, just because it can't block. I'll keep in a couple, because I still need some sack outlets. And I will... Maybe I only need... Because I'm bringing in Silver Life stuff, maybe I don't need that many fangs. So let's just go with this. I... Can probably keep this. It's not great. But it's got a lot of... This can make me a treasure. And I can draw some cards. Which I'll probably have to do now. Land? Uh-oh. Uh, all right, well, I guess I'll do the same thing. Okay, there we go. And... I guess I'll just play the Shambling Ghast. I probably could have played the Blight Brilly Red, actually. Got double fumes, so if they do, like, rebirth twice, then... 
Okay, I think I just take it because I can fumes them all the way next turn. Sure. All right, we'll just pass. We can deadly dispute it and then fumes. My face, sure. Uh, block. Dispute. Make a treasure. Cast. Cool. Sure. Uh, hmm, what do I do here? Play a rat and a mortician beetle. We'll see what happens. On the... On my face. Well, that was a very quick end to a very hopeful league. GG. Good sir. Just when you think the red deck isn't there, it comes back to bite you in less than two minutes. Ah, well. I guess we'll go and... Yeah, we'll wrap this deck up. Okay, so how'd the deck go? Well, we went 3-2, so it was a winning record, but uh, yeah, those those last two games really showed the weaknesses of the deck. Uh, not, not having enough lands to do things at particular points in the game, and just uh, other decks having better cards, I guess? So, yeah. Um, like, the... The package of, like, all the sack, um, so the package of all the sack creatures, so, like, Mortician Beetle, Infiltrator, and Carrion Feeder, like, they're all pretty good. They all have their own thing. You just need to find the right sort of sack fodder. The only problem is that if you don't have the sack fodder, then they're all just extremely average cards. So... Like, I don't think we won any of these games because we were this deck. The only games we won is because we were the black removal deck. We managed to kill the things that were threatening us, and we managed to just have some random dudes that punched them down. It wasn't because they were getting bigger. It wasn't because that we were sacking them to, like, get value. It was just because we had removal at the time. So, like, Whisper... It was cool. It just doesn't kill enough in this format to actually be relevant, I don't think. Um, maybe we need to run one Fumes main just because of that white deck and red deck. Man, that red deck really made me sad. <laughs> it just ended so quickly. I thought we might have a chance, but I nah, just stumbled. You can't. You cannot stumble against the deck. It just will absolutely destroy you. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have really have much to say. Maybe we need, maybe we need to, like, go to four Bone Picker, try to go that route, go, like, more just aggressive on the one drops, just try and, rather than just sitting there and, like, in that last game against Red, just grinding and trying to, like, have a little draw engine going, just try and dump as much power as you can, as early as you can, and just try to keep punching through. It's just, it's a little awkward having, like, these lands, needing to hold up this, wanting to hit, like, two. Like, the rat, I don't know if the rat's good either. 
Uh, it, like, theoretically is good because it puts count two counters and everything. It's just... You, you'll never toxic anyone out, so there's no real point on the toxic bit. Um, yeah. Unsure. Uh, deck is... Deck is fine. It's fun to muck around with every now and then. I mean, we've got a winning record, but I would not trust running this in a format full of affinity and red. <laughs> uh, it's. I mean, it's good against blue black terror. If there's a lot of blue black terror, I'd I'd run it. It seems fine. So yeah, uh, good deck against blue black terror. Okay. All right. I hope you enjoyed. Um, we'll see you later.